Kami Research offers many different connector boards for various combinations of connectors. This photo shows about half of the boards available in our catalog. You may change the boards in seconds and mix and match different boards to accommodate the cables you need to test. Sometimes you'll encounter complex or unusual cables for which no standard connector boards exist, like the multi-headed cable shown in this drawing. Here you see one large connector on the left and several smaller connectors on the right. For situations like this, you'll need to build a custom interface. We designed our CB8 prototyping board to address many of the special interfacing needs you encounter. Each CB8 board set includes a kit of screws and standoffs, which you may use to mount connectors that have brackets or mounting holes. The diagonal slots on the CB8 accept panel-mounted circular connectors of varying sizes but can be used to mount any connector with a bracket. In this application, we see one large circular connector mounted to the board. The connector's pins are wired to the pads you see around the side of the board. CB8 can accommodate a connector with up to 62 pins plus shield. Here, we've mounted two connectors and two pigtail cables on one CB8. Pigtails are short adapter cables used when the connector manufacturer does not make a panel mounted version of the connector that can be mounted directly to the board, or when the cable you plan on testing is large, bulky, or awkward, and would be difficult to attach to a vertically mounted connector. This complex pigtail cable includes several flying leads. You may mount several small connectors in close proximity, like this, using the smaller slots. In this photo, one KBLI user has developed a collection of pigtail cables for all of his company's unusual connectors. Using another approach, you may mount the mating connectors for your cable on a custom-built panel and then wire that panel directly to KBLI using 64 conductor flat cable, as shown in this photo. This particular panel requires 896 test points. Once you've created the hardware interface for your cable, you then need to set up the KBLI software to recognize the connectors and show them on the screen with the correct pin numbers. We'll discuss this process in the next clip.